Yo guys, welcome to another episode of the Herc Podcast. Today we have a episode and interview with Soylent. He's one of the most um, OG highlight editors from way back when highlight editing kind of started. So yeah, I'm just going to be talking to him about the general questions and some other topics. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe and let me know if you're enjoying the podcast so far. I'm going to try and keep consistent with it, weekly episodes. And yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy um yeah so what inspired you to start editing and what was like your first software uh i used to add on like free software just like black ops 2 stuff and like csgo so i used to watch like phase ill cams so so what was... for, like sorry no, you was... Oh, it's just, like biggest inspiration like phase ill cams and then like the software i used i don't remember the name really uh some shit one but after. So was it was it mainly COD then? Yeah, because yeah, so, yeah. I'm pretty old, like nineteen. So yeah. I kind of start editing like before Fortnite, but not like seriously or anything. Just like did you have like, any commissions back then? Or... Nah, not really. Just like my own stuff, and then like my friends' stuff. Just like like Black Ops Two trick shots and stuff like that, but not really anything like big. All right. Fortnite is like when I start doing commissions and stuff. Yeah, because you did it quite early on compared to most people, really. Because you, you were quite known early on as well. Cause yeah, who, yeah. Who was your first couple of clients? Was it like um, Verox or what? Uh, nah, Verox was like quite early on, but I had quite a lot bigger ones before. Like, not bigger, but like same size. Like, do you know uh, Item? The 11 uh, item? I've not heard of Item, to be fair. He was like, he was like Joe World Cup. He played with Boyer, I think. So, he was, wait, he quit. so do you channel manage as well? Because I don't know if you channel manage or not. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I do, but I start. I've, I kind of started that like twenty twenty. Not, yeah. I didn't do that very early on. I yeah. think, I think Verox was one of the first I started. To, actually, no, yeah, I think Verox was one of the first. Because I know you have quite a different experience for most people because you were quite early on. But what like advice would you have for most people like trying to come up now, become get recognition and stuff like that? Yeah, what I'd say now is like pe- people make jokes out of like getting paid with what, what's the fucking phrase? Uh. Like, wait, what's the word phrase? Like, clout or whatever. Like, yeah. you know. Yeah, I can pay for like, um, what's it called exposure. Yeah. Yeah, exposure. Like, but realistically, if you if you if you're smart with it and you advertise yourself well and you brand yourself well, exposure just basically turns into money because you get followers, and with the followers you get more clients. You get bigger clients. You get paid more. You get orgs looking at you. You can make packs. So, like, if you can brand yourself well. Yeah, it's, made, it's mainly YouTube about the stuff. branding, yeah. Cause it's yeah, then the exposure's stuff. definitely, honestly, like, almost as good, if not better, than just actual, like, cash. Because it, it, it leads to the money. Because a lot yeah. of people charge quite a lot early on. Cause, did you ever, like, edit for free or anything early on? Yeah, of course, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think there wasn't that many editors around when I started, so I don't think I did it for free that long. Obviously, there's quite a lot now, so I think probably working for free. people do it for free, yeah. Is yeah, exactly. Known, yeah. So, yeah. have you have, have you actually released the pack before? I'm not too sure. Yeah, so what? My first pack was with LMGK. Way right. back. Cinematic pack. So, yeah, obviously I did pretty well because he blew the fuck up. Um, I made my own pack, but it's not... I haven't really, I haven't really advertised it much. It's not that good. Yeah. So, <laughs> what, would, like. what would you... Did you have any experience of pack leaking back then? Because I know it's quite a prominent thing at the moment with pack leaking and stuff but back then was it much yeah. the same honestly me and LMGK didn't really have that much of a problem that I know of and I haven't made a pack for like over a year so I, I know it's been getting way bigger recently um I had a pack with Penguin that I think got leaked a bit but it wasn't really that bad yeah, otherwise the, I, don't, I, don't I don't think the servers were as prominent back then really the leaking the leaking that I've had of my packs it, I mean, I'm sure there's some of them probably in these big servers now, but I don't really care that much now. But, like, when I was releasing them stuff, it's just people, like, giving them to their friends and stuff, which isn't that big a problem. Obviously, I'd, it's not good to do, because it's not right, but it's not as bad as mass, putting it on a server yeah, like 30,000 members. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a lot and difficult. So, would you say, like, yourself, do you think you've, like, grown an ego over the time, or do you think you're quite humble? Uh... I think probably, but I think most people I talk to won't think that they don't think that. But 
I think maybe on Twitter and stuff, people think that. Uh, I mean, I don't really care about that much about editing now. Yeah. So hopefully, no one really thinks that anymore. I talked to like because Quilt had me blocked for like a year. I talked to him a day, unblocked me, Carb now stuff like that. But yeah, cause... I think probably like last year. I think probably a lot of people did think that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they necessarily. Because now, like now, like, how much do you think you like edit at the moment now? Like a couple hours a month. Like I don't know. A couple hours a month. Yeah. Yeah, so like, you, what clients do you have at the moment? Is it like for client work? Or literally what? just Verox, pretty much. Oh. Uh, so do you have so edit any other stuff for like fun and all that? Or yeah, I mean on my YouTube, there's like some of my own shit, and then I've done like you know like, do you know like thirty editor collabs? Yeah, yeah, I know. Lacey does. That, yeah. I do them. They're pretty fun, <clears> and then I've got some like like pre-rec shit that I haven't released because it's so bad and I suck at that stuff now <laughs> but I got it I've edited it but yeah like I probably edit like like 10 20 hours a month I don't know yeah like max like so um this is a pretty like this is a pretty decent question for most people so what would you say was your like favorite highlight video of all time it can be your one of your own that you edited or it can be someone oh. else's favorite of all time <laughs> Let me think real quick. Uh, I think maybe the Clark Mongrel SL one. I forgot what, it was, what song it. Bad uh, luck. Yeah, no, the last Mongrel one, wasn't it? Yeah, bad luck. I like bad this one. Luck, yeah. Yeah, that's probably one of my favorite. I, 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 don't, I mean, I was editing's decent, but it's just like memories and stuff from that time, which is probably the biggest reason why, isn't it? Yeah, just the nostalgia. But like, if I was gonna say like highlight video editing wise it's hardly highlight videos but pretty much anything that Neeks puts out if you classify that as a highlight video yeah pretty sick. <laughs> yeah yeah but most people do tend to say Neeks too but I think every single person that um so far has said Neeks but um, I, can't, I don't know if you can really classify it as a highlight video but even yeah but it may as well be a montage at that point but um yeah. so if you've already had this client so like or if you would like one in the future so who would you say is like your dream client that you could have had or want to have or whatever like who would you say is uh, yeah. your main person like anything like channel management yeah. montage or whatever i mean obviously i'm not really i wouldn't really try and get anyone out because i've kind of like come to the end of my time in it but like just for me just like mongrel just because he's like so fucking he's like the og yeah. Like, he's, like, the biggest name in Fortnite, in my opinion. And he's, like, UK and stuff. And I've been watching him for so long and stuff. But it'd just be yeah. cool. Yeah. I feel like the editing, especially if it's, like, content videos and stuff, is quite easy because of how, like, entertaining he is as a person. You don't really need to yeah. add, like, anything else. Yeah, exactly. But, um, so, in the case of Fortnite, like, in general, of all time, like, who would you think is, like, your favourite editor? Like, best editor? Most skilled? Editor? Oh. If I not... I mean, you might... You might know them. Yeah. Uh... What so? Do you know? Uh, you probably won't know this guy, Sulajek. I don't even know how to pronounce his name. To be honest, he had it's like Battlefield. I'll send you some of his videos after. And then you, do you do you know Maniac? I don't know Maniac. Maniac's pretty big, but fair enough. He edits like CS:GO, but he, I, I think he's quit. Honestly, I don't know, but he's insane. Probably Maniac number one. But then there's people like, yeah, I'm Maniac. Uh, yeah, probably just Maniac, number one. <laughs> I'll just fit out for one person. Yeah. So, um, so would you like to move on to, like, another game, or is it you just, you're just kind of, like, moving off editing as a whole? Would that be... Like, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm ever going to, like... I mean, I probably will stop editing eventually, you know, but I, I enjoy it still. I just yeah. don't enjoy it, doing it all the time. So, like, I'm probably going to keep going here and there, try other games and shit, but I don't think... It's like, like it's, I don't, no longer consider it like a career, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Did you think that at one point that you thought you wanted to do it as a career? Uh, I don't think I ever wanted to do it as a career, but I considered it as a career, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because like, you yeah. need some money here and there and that. But um, Yeah, yeah. So what would you say, you're, this is kind of related to the same thing, but what would you say like your plans for the future are? So like, what would you like to do as a career if it's not editing? Yeah, so... I'm 19. I just moved out like two weeks ago, um, and I'm doing like apprenticeship in cybersecurity. So that's kind of what I'm doing. Like, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of re- one of the reasons why I've not been editing as much. Yeah, just and trying to get like of... move on with that part of your life. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Um, obviously, this is a pretty 
So, like, back when you were editing a lot, did you feel like you handled it well with, like, school and stuff? Because you probably would have been, like, college sort of thing, wouldn't you? Like, yeah, so I went, like, sixth form. Yeah. Yeah, like, grammar school. Uh, so, like, the work, I had quite a lot of work and shit, but I think I managed my time pretty well. I ended up with all the right results. Uh, I think sometimes I probably put editing, like, over school work to kind of, like, put, like... So like before exams and stuff, I probably should have done more revision, but it worked out all right. Like, did you have any like specific um like things you did, or like did this is a question I asked last time? Did you have any like did your parents ever have any problems with your editing, or did you have to like convince them or anything like that? Or yeah. did they even know about it? If you are honest. Yeah, my parents know about it, um, but basically, uh, they didn't really care what I did as long as I wasn't gonna get bad grades you know yeah so like keep so the like, school like keep your school yeah, grades pretty good much. Yeah. as long they as were you were pretty doing supportive that, yeah yeah because yeah, it can tend to be from parent to parent like how supportive they are of this because it really depends on age as well because like how different it is now because it's like yeah, there's a lot of like 14 15 year olds that are trying to do editing as like full-time career and editing like eight hours a day and then they're yeah, surprised it, when their parents get annoyed. I mean, yeah, it's my parents, my, the parents are like so much older, and they're like generation when they were our age. Like they didn't have the internet. Never mind, like editing yeah. and like crap. So yeah. yeah, my parents are pretty understanding, and once they like realized how much I was making, they just let me do it pretty much. But at first, I pre- they probably were a bit hesitant. But if you want to pursue it properly, just I mean, obviously, if you want to pursue it properly, you're gonna have to be making money from it. So just make money and then obviously show them that too yeah and hopefully this will support you <laughs> so so right now who would you say like your top three highlight editors are so i know i heard you say neeks earlier but um so who would you say like your top three like right now pretty much yeah i mean i don't really watch that much highlights anymore but i mean i've seen neeks stuff on the timeline and stuff and that guy is insane um i think if it's like right now because I guess I can't say people like Clark and stuff because they're not really yeah, yeah. Now. So I guess like Neeks, uh, Smitty's good. Yeah. Uh, um, let me think. Quick. Uh, um, third one. Uh, I'll just say Alex. I like Alex's mm. stuff. So, He's not really a highlight editor, but still. Yeah, same thing, really. But um, so Alex, would you Alex say? Denver. So would you say your um would you say like there's a TV show or like an anime or something that's like influenced your editing style or you, do you like go to a specific like YouTube channel to find ideas pretty much like like how do you come up with your ideas do you like write them down watch TV shows like pretty much just how yeah um process? when I used to be more into montages I used to just get ideas at the randomest times so I just had like notes like i just have iphone i have an iphone so like you know notes i just had like yeah. a note thing with just ideas that i just write down uh and then for inspiration i kind of i watch quite a lot of other edits like not really that much for, like i also watch fortnite and stuff too but like other games just kind of take inspiration from everything i watch i yeah. don't really watch anime so are there any yeah. inspiration a lot, of pe- a lot of people say anime but um i'm not yeah. I'm not an anime person really but um yeah so pretty much that's pretty much done for the questions but would you like to say anything to anybody like out there or anything like any advice or anything like that? Yeah. Um, uh, I mean, I said it already, but focus on like branding and stuff. Obviously, you got to be good at editing to grow and stuff. So you got to make sure you, you whatever you're editing is actually good quality. But it's a lot more about branding and kind of how you make how you how you advertise yourself. Like, yeah, like I said, it's like a fifty-fifty split with actual editing skill. Like, yeah. So there's it's, it's a, a quick question. Did you have like any like what subjects did you do at college? Did you do anything to do like business or anything? No, I didn't. Uh, I did maths, computer science, and history. Oh, okay. So because so, yeah. it seems like as well for specific like um successful content ma- content managers like what we're saying um like managers and stuff like that for social media. Because did you ever uh, manage any other social medias for pros or anything? Was it just YouTube? Nah, I know. I just did YouTube. Yeah. yeah I know so, it like, for that kind of stuff, a lot of people would, like, professional ones usually tend to do business and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I would have thought, but, um, yeah. yeah, it's just and it's about all, the brand. Yeah, it's, like, also about branding. It's, like, it's, make yourself look, like, professional too, innit? Because 
orgs don't like they want you know they want people to look professional and stuff obviously if you don't i mean i think i'd recommend joining orgs i think they're good for your branding good way to also, promote yourself just, as well yeah also just with consistent payment too it's like obviously you might be getting more from from your personal commissions but it's just good to have something that you can like trust will always pay you and always give you commissions so yeah what was your what was your experience with the orgs you've been in before like how how did you find them i had some pretty rough experiences but uh so my first org was serenity uh and like i had nothing wrong with them they're like great org in it don't have like the biggest funding so it's kind of hard for them but they they run well and stuff and then I joined you probably won't even know these orgs, you know Econ. I Econ don't know Econ, Econ. I know Serenity, but I didn't know Econ. Yeah, Econ shut down and I think it I think it turned into Ovation or no, it started with M, I forgot its name. Um but I think they had they had like Tayson at one point. They had like some other people, you probably won't know them. Yeah. Um they were right, but they like disbanded and then I think I went straight to Enterprise after that, you know. Yeah, because I remember I, I think the first time I had heard about you was when you were in Enterprise. Yeah, that was probably when I was like growing the most. Yeah, just probably like probably mostly due to the org, and then obviously they got pretty good funding. <laughs> Luckily, I got paid because I don't know what's going on with them now, but I've seen some stuff about them and stuff. But I got paid, which is calm. Uh, uh, and then after Enterprise, that's kind of when I went. I slowed down a bit, but I joined Loot Boy. I'm technically still in Loot Boy, but not really. I don't. I don't know if I am. <laughs> Loot Boy has been pretty shit. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. But it's all right. Yeah. yeah. Like, I guess I'm gonna say this because I'm not on contract or anything. But like the owner, like Noah. Yeah. He was gonna he was gonna pay me. He like sent me his PayPal to send an invoice to and stuff. Uh, and I'm just lazy, so I didn't do it for like a couple of weeks. And then I see him tweet that he's left. <laughs> so I DM him like, "Oh, who should I get paid by now?" And and then he's like, "Oh, just DM the team account." So like, yeah, but. Oh okay. We'll see. It. We'll see. It. We'll see if I get paid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. That's a pretty weird situation. But yeah. yeah. Um. That's pretty much all I got for today. But um. Thanks for your time, Sawyer. Pretty helpful. Yeah. It's calm down. All right. That's going to be it for the podcast, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Leave a comment on how much you enjoyed the podcast. But yeah. That's going to be it for me today. Um. See you guys next week.